So we're gonna try something new for today's video. Uh, we're gonna make a grilled cheese and we're gonna make a four grilled cheese. Now what I'm being by four grilled cheese, uh, a four cheese grilled cheese, uh, we're gonna be using four types of grilled cheese. Let me get this camera set up here just one second. All right, beautiful. By the by, uh, the four grilled cheese, uh, four cheese grilled cheese that we're gonna be using today. Uh, this one. Oh my god, where do I, where should I start? Where should I start? Okay, let's see. So okay, wait. But this one right here is gonna be the Gouda cheese, and I love the Gouda cheese. Uh, I feel like when it comes to four grilled cheese, I like to incorporate something that's either kind of be smoky or something that's going to be like a sticky cheese. I feel like it's important to use a sticky cheese inside your four grilled cheese. I feel like it just gives it much more flavor. Oh, mind you, I am lactose intolerant, so I should not be eating this whatsoever, but a cause is a cause. Next is the Munster, Munster cheese. This is the Munster cheese. The Munster cheese always kind of have like an orange outline to it. Um, I don't know for what reason, maybe I, did some, I should have done some research on it. As you can see right here, an orange lime. Now this is another sticky cheese that I like. Now the Monster is, it's less toned down than the Gouda, but it does kind of have like a little aftertaste to it that I quite enjoy very much. Mm. Next we have Havarti. Um, Havarti. Mm. Havarti is one of those cheeses that when you try them and you eat it, it kind of just melts in your mouth. Definitely on the, on, the, on the stinky side, it does have a kick to it. How would I explain it? I don't know, it just feels like it's a mature cheese, if that makes sense. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's one of those cheeses that get aged. I may be wrong, don't quote on me. You know, don't quote this on me. Take this shit with a grain of salt. This is just my, um, my taste levels. Uh, my case buds, but... Now, the last cheese I chose, it was just kind of out of the random. It was just provolone. Now provolone cheese, mm, it's a little harder than the rest of the cheeses. Mm, doesn't really have much of a taste. I feel like the reason why I chose provolone cheese is because even though I do have all these stinky cheeses, now this is less stinky. These two are probably the most stinkiest cheese that I have here in this uh, for in this grilled cheese. But the provolone is just kind of it's kind of nice, it's kind of light, and it does melt. So that's why I kind of chose it. I don't want it to be too much of a stinky mess. Um, so I kind of want to do plain out, or at least try to even out the plain field with all the stinky cheeses inside. Um, yeah, so this is what we're going to be using. For bread, I am using sourdough bread. I do like this bread. But yeah, sourdough bread, I heard, is a really good bread to put into a grilled cheese. Now, when to cutting this piece of slices of bread, I'm actually going to try to cut them kind of on the thicker side. Now, I, now I want to say maybe like, mm, like right about here. Now, uh, when it comes to cutting, and I've been watching some like Chef Gordon, uh, what's it called, Chef Ramsay videos, so bitch, you know she's an expert now. Um, so I, I, you wanna do like a three finger rule. Now the three finger rule is you have your middle finger out with your knuckles out. That way when you slice it, you're not cutting your fingers, you know what I'm saying? So you kind of have that protection, you can slide in through. But still be careful, girl, because trust me, I'm still pretty new with this shit, and I get like traumatized by cutting my fingers. So we're gonna cut a fat slice. Sorry, a big girl slice, I should say. I'm not trying to discriminate nobody, but yeah. So what ends up happening is you see that like they kind of just squish through. Oh my god, sorry. Uh, they kind of just squish through. So what I want to do is just kind of pull them apart a little bit, just to kind of, you know, fatten them out. Sorry, uh, thicken them out. I apologize. All right, clean board. Next, we're gonna slice a couple of um, tomatoes. Now the reason why I cut some, well the reason why I'm adding, adding tomatoes into a grilled cheese is because honestly I feel like I feel like every time I think of a grilled cheese I think of uh, thick slices of tomato. I've never had a grilled cheese with tomato on it. So okay, so we're gonna cut some uh, slices of tomato. Let me see here. Remember three finger rule: knuckle out in the middle, tuck it in, and we're gonna cut. Let's see this baby. All right, so now that we have our slices of tomato, that's great, beautiful. We're gonna put these bad boys inside here. Beautiful slices of tomato. Now, nice, you have a beautiful cutting board, that's great. Now we're gonna be using some jalapeno. Now, when, now when you think like, oh my god, he's gonna use jalapeno. Yes, girl, we're gonna use jalapeno. Uh, coming up with the whole idea of making a grilled cheese, I was watching some uh, YouTube videos of like, people who oh it's got the best grilled cheeses out there and then they showed one of the vi in one of the videos uh what's your name uh, 
Chrissy Teigen, she adds jalapenos to it, so that's why I incorporate jalapenos into it because I'm Mexican and I, I don't know about other Latinos out there, but I really love spicy food. My family messes with spicy food all the time. I feel like that's one of the things that is really incorporated in our culture is a lot of jalapenos, serranos, uh, chiles de arbol, uh, chiles secos, all, all the good stuff. Uh, back at home, what's it called? We always have um, chiles de vinagre all the time, girl, with beans, frijoles, some fucking uh, eggs. Tortillas and always always chilies of vinagre. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna incorporate some slices of jalapeno into it because trust me It had some flavor to it and girl, let me tell you that jalapeno seed kicks in and yes We're gonna be using seeds girl. So right, remember three fingers in tucked in knuckle out and we're gonna cut through this bad boy and Cool cut these but remember we're gonna heat the seeds girl because we want that heat Then we'll get a uh, one of these bad boys, I'm gonna put it here. All right, I'm gonna put our jalapenos in there. Awesome, see how beautiful they are, nice and green. And then we're gonna bring back our slices, oh, our slices of bread. So we have our beautiful slices of bread right here. So I should put those away. All right, so we have our fat, or sorry, not fat, thick, thick slices of bread. So we're gonna add some mayonnaise. Now the mayonnaise I use is the best food, real mayonnaise. Sorry if you're not vegan, I apologize. So I'm gonna add some mayonnaise onto, or slap some mayonnaise onto my thick slices of bread. Put that, coat that nicely. Let me clean that up for you. Oh, don't get, don't, don't worry about getting messy, girl. It's gonna happen all the time. And I'm not here about presentation here. I'm here to feed you, girl. Okay, so, but on this, <laughs> on this part of the presentation, now we're gonna add some jalapenos onto. So we're gonna add a couple of slices of jalapenos and make sure to really press those bad boys in. Cause like I said, you don't, even though you have that may mayonnaise on there and that egg on there, sometimes they'll fall off, so yeah. So okay, so we're gonna put that here, put it to the side. All right, so next we're gonna get some Parmesan. This is the Parmesan and Romano cheese uh, grated. This is like the Kroger brand. So what I ended up doing is, I think I got that same idea from Chrissy Teigen, but so I grabbed this, my thick slices of bread, and just slap it on the cheese and make sure I kind of really press that in just to kind of get that cheese on there and that's why also I like to use mayonnaise because mayonnaise it's gonna stick to it now what you can do is kind of just brush off the excess and then here we go I would do the same thing on the other one because I mean if you're not trying to gain those extra calories which this is not the channel for you but I mean no 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 it is but this is maybe not the video for you but okay so we have our thick slices of jalapeno cheese bread okay so these bad boys I'm gonna flip them over carefully Try not to manhandle them too much. Now what I like to do is I like to fold them in half just because I like to really mix in those cheeses. So I'm going to do a layer of uh, Monster and then a layer of oh, what's it called Gouda and I'm going to fold these bad boys in. Next I'm going to add uh, provolone cheese and I'm going to do the same, same thing that I did with the other one. Cut it in half, put one slice on. Slice on, and then next is my Havarti. Now be careful with the Havarti, because the Havarti can be very delicate. So here we go, we're gonna slap on this slices of cheese on there. Look how beautiful that looks, girl. Now I'm gonna just tuck in the edges, because I kind of don't like it when it kind of burns out. I don't know, I'm a little bit of perfectionist. Sue me, girl. Okay, so now they have beautiful slices of cheese. Now this is where the fun begins, girl. This is when you start getting those aromatic flavors. All right, so next. I'm gonna, uh, what's it called, turn on my stove, which I should have done that probably since the beginning of the video, and I'm gonna put it on some medium heat. All right, so now that we have our pan, we're putting that on medium heat also, because we're gonna add four cubes of butter. All right, now that we have our butter just kind of chilling, we're really gonna kind of just move that around. All right, now that our butter kind of just did its thing and melted, I'm going to kind of lower the heat onto like number two. That's how my stove kind of has it. And I'm going to slap on our beautiful slices of bread. I'm gonna put that on there. Cool. Oops, sorry, I did it again like Britney Spears. I apologize. So actually, we're gonna flip this bad boy over. I'm gonna do that here. We're gonna kind of give it a little bit of a press kind of down. And then we're gonna put that right here. And then what I'm gonna do is honey. Now this is the ingredient. I think I saw this in, I don't know whose video, I apologize. Now what I'm gonna do is just add a cool amount of honey on there because it gives it a nice touch and that way when you flip over 
what's it called, the, the grilled cheese itself, uh, that nice caramelized taste, there, especially when you bite into it. Bite in the jalapeno and then bite in that honey, fuse it together. Oh, it's a beautiful taste, trust me. Next, I'm gonna grab just, uh, just the top. Now, this obviously doesn't fit the, the pan itself. You're gonna use a top like this, and what I do is I just let that sit in. Now, the reason why we also use thick slices of bread so that way it doesn't burn it all the way through, and that's why I lower the temperature on the on the burner or on the stove so that way it doesn't burn the bread completely, but it's trapping in all that heat, so it's gonna melt in all that cheese, especially that middle part, because trust me, and when you bite into a grilled cheese and the middle part is not cooked, it just ruins the whole experience. So now that I had to keep it, I kept it a little bit trapped now. I am going to turn it over onto its other side. Now that's that beauty we're gonna get with the caramelization. Now look how, see my toast hasn't completely burned. But you know what? We're gonna cover this bad boy here, let it sit there for just a little bit. Our, um, our grilled cheese is doing the thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna get back to these uh, tomatoes because I totally almost forgot about them. So we're gonna add our tomatoes. Now we're gonna wait for this uh, pan to heat just a little bit. I'm gonna go grab some spices. Now you're gonna see me use black pepper for a lot of videos. And the reason why is because I love black peppercorn. I think it's the best thing. I give it so much flavor. I love earthy and very like herby flavors to it. And I think black peppercorn is one of those seasonings or one of those uh, spices that honestly, it's very inex it's so inexpensive and it lasts you really long and it's super cheap. And honestly, you can just literally throw this on everything. Yeah, I'm going to add a couple of slices of tomato on there. And I'm just going to slap on some black peppercorn on there. Sorry if it's a little out of focus, I apologize. I'm gonna add a couple of... Ooh girl, look, she is cute and delighted to see us. Let me put this through. Look how beautiful this... Girl, are you gonna focus? That'd be great, thank you. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh my God, and that's... Look how beautiful this is, look at that. And look how beautiful that looks. Ugh, looks gorgeous. All right, we'll put that aside. Now we're gonna give a little bit of love and attention to our tomatoes. Now, the trick with the tomatoes is I, you don't want to wilt them too much um, because you still wanna be able to get that beautiful, like watery flavor that the tomato actually has. Um, I don't know if that's correct, the correct word to use it, but honestly, I like the wateriness of a tomato. I think it's amazing. And then we're gonna cook the other side with black pepper also. Now, I'm going to put them out just because, like I said, I do like having that nice watery uh, taste of the tomatoes, so put these bad boys in. Look how beautiful they look. Mm. And honestly, it smells hella good. Uh, just pe honestly, just tomato and just like pepper. Mm. Beautiful. Awesome. That's great. We're going to set those aside, put this bad boy away. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, there is nothing next. Next is just... All right. And now, do you see that nice, beautiful caramel caramelization on the edge of the bread? Oh, trust me, girl, that's gonna be heaven. And then we're gonna open this bad boy up, girl. We're gonna see the damage. Ooh, oh, she pulled apart. She said, no, ma'am. Look at how beautiful this cheese is melted. We're gonna add our grilled tomatoes. Ooh, girl, this thing is hot, girl. She ain't playing around. And we're gonna add that on there. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Sorry, I had to do a taste test in my, in my living room because it was a shitty lighting. Are we excited to bite into this? Because I'm very excited to bite into this. Now it's nice, it's fat, and it's greasy. It's one of those like comfort food type of things. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hell yeah, girl. This is big girl food. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Let me get my life together. Final notes, you don't have to use that much butter. I don't know why I used that much butter, because honestly, I thought that I was doing like three. I totally forgot that I was just doing one today. I didn't even know why I had that big ass pan, so so I apologize. But yes, um, use less butter. Don't, you, don't be using four tablespoons of butter. You just use one tablespoon of butter. But honestly, look, it just spewed out how beautiful. Look how gorgeous. I'm sorry I, if you think I'm being biased, girl, but I'm really not. This shit is the bomb. Mmm. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. If you'd like videos like this where I incorporate myself into the whole cooking thing, 
I think I'm gonna try this out, see if it works. Um, because I don't like being just behind the camera. I like being a little bit of a camera hub, you know. I like to show my face and whatnot. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys so much. Thank you for uh, watching another video of... What is this show called? Cooking for Rookies! Yes, I didn't forget my own name. So, God, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. I'll watch till next time. So excited to see what we have in store.